Head coach Jim Parody and the Red Foxes coming off a tough 14-10 loss against San Diego this past Saturday, but some positives that you can clearly take out of that game, such as the performance of the defense and a couple big special teams plays. James Lamachi, a punt return for a touchdown. Kevin Pauley, a 76-yard punt. Expand on that a little bit. Oh, sure. Our defense played an extremely good football game during against San Diego this past week. Uh, they, they gave us a good field position uh, with an interception by Nick Kazai down on the 20-yard line, and then Tyler Ramsey had another interception in our own end zone to stop a drive. Uh, so they, they, play, they played very well throughout the course of the game. I thought we played very physical also uh, during the course of the whole football game. Uh, as far as the special teams go, James Lamarcia gave us a, a big punt return in late in the first half to send us in at halftime up 10-7 and uh, really got our emotions high for the uh, at halftime and, and led us into that second half. And uh, Kevin Pauley had the uh, punt of 76 yards down to the one-yard line and a great punt force that actually tied a school record and uh, set up our, our defense in, uh, for real good field position and trying to uh, get the ball back at that point. But uh, all three of those, uh, those two people in our defense did play an excellent game uh, on, on Saturday against San Diego. Heading into Jacksonville now, this is a Jacksonville team that's undefeated in the PFL and really seems to be rolling uh, both offensively and defensively. Talk about what they bring to the table. Well, they're a great offensive team. They're, they've only been held under 400 yards once all season long, and that was against the number one team in the nation uh, way back in week two. Uh, their offense starts with their quarterback, Josh McGregor. He, he's a guy that's uh, leading the league in passing, and uh, they have a multitude of wide receivers that can hurt you. Josh Philippard is their leader out there, but uh, you know he's, he's doing great things for them out there. And then they can run the football also. So with that, it's a, a two-headed monster that you have to try to slow down. You you know you're never going to stop them for the complete football game, but you want to try to limit their big plays. Uh, they they are very up there in the as far as you know, big plays during the course of the year. They can hurt you from anywhere on the field. Talk about what it's going to take to be successful on Saturday in Jacksonville. Well, the big thing is that the. Uh, it's on the defensive side of the ball. We have to limit the big plays uh, that they get, make them earn the field. And on the offensive side of the football, we cannot go three and out. We have to uh, give our defense some time to rest. And then the offense, once we get down in the red zone, we need to score some points. We're one for four in red zone opportunities against San Diego, and we can't have that again. If once we get down there, we need to put points on the board uh, and give ourselves a chance. But the big thing, again, with the offense is to uh, kind of control the, the uh, line of scrimmage a little bit and give our defense a chance to rest. Rest and, and recover on the sideline. Coach, thanks and best of luck on Saturday. All right, thank you, Mike.